City leaders are also taking steps tonight to protect schools and students from harassment by the homeless. We told you about this last week about a man arrested for shouting sexual obscenities at students while another school deals with break ins and human waste. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live with a plan to create a buffer around school zones. Madison. Yeah, you talk about that story last week. I spoke to that educator at Growth Public Schools who said he regularly cleans up human waste and finds drug paraphernalia on campus. Today I heard from a parent who said her daughter has been harassed and spit on. Both of them say it's because of homeless encampments too close to schools. And we still don't have our, uh, our free sidewalks for safe passage. It's been less than a week since Sacramento's sidewalk camping ban went into effect, and there's been no noticeable change. I believe that our failure over the last couple years has really been a lack of coordination on those wraparound services. Sacramento's Vice Mayor Angelique Ashby says those services are part of a long term solution to address the city's unhoused population. In the short term, She's proposed an amendment to the critical infrastructure ordinance to add a 500 foot camping ban buffer around schools and daycares. It makes no sense to arrest homeless people for camping on a sidewalk or too near a school or to fine them because they don't have the money to pay the fines. City leaders addressed concerns about enforcement on homeless encampments. Is it really possible to keep sidewalks clear and a buffer zone around schools? Do we have enough people in place to? Protect schools? Probably. In a staggered approach, yes. Can we implement everything inside of the critical infrastructure ordinance? No. Enforcement comes in three waves. The first two require self implementation. The city's Office of Emergency Management and the Department of Community Response, staffed with social workers, talk to people who lived unhoused and explain why they need to move and find them resources. I hear from the people and the frustrations and the tent encampments are uh, the proliferation of them are unacceptable and inconsistent with good quality of life. Yeah, and that third wave of things we learned today and we've heard over and over is a final last effort would be to bring in Sacramento police to enforce that if someone doesn't choose to voluntarily move. Of course, all of this comes with the need for housing. That was talked about today as well, and city leaders say it's not one or the other. They need both. We've heard that word before from the mayor, unacceptable, so we'll see what happens now. Madison, thank you. Live in Sacramento.